Good Friday morning to you. Trucker Todd here and time for another video. All right, folks, today I'm going to answer some more questions. We're going to go behind the scenes and uh, I'm going to tell you why I do the things I do in my videos. Now, this is a little bit concerning for me and I've been reluctant to do this because I'm basically, think of your favorite sports team opening up their playbook. Now, I don't know how aware of this you guys are, but a lot of other YouTubers watch me, and uh, some of them do it in a good way, like uh, Road Scholar and KB the Smooth One. Both have YouTube channels where they talk about Dart, and they uh, give me credit. They'll say, hey, I watched Trucker Todd, and I got this idea or whatever. They're doing it the correct way. Other people that are not reputable like those two will just flat out plagiarize me. And I've had some of you guys notice it. You'll say, hey, did you see YouTuber such and such? About two days after your video, he said almost the exact same thing in his videos. It was obvious that he watched your video and copied you. So I'm worried that when I give you uh, the reasons behind why, why I make videos the way I do that some of the copycats out there uh, will imitate me, which they say imitation is the best form of flattery, so I guess I should expect some of it. But either way, I realize some of the things that are necessary in making a YouTube video can be kind of irritating. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Like, for example, why do I use one camera angle instead of doing two or three camera angles like a newscaster would do. Why do I have an introduction in my video that is 30 seconds long when a lot of guys have an introduction that's 15 seconds long? Some YouTubers don't have an introduction at all. Why after the introduction do I always uh, mention my recruiter and give my driver number of 58180? Is it that I'm desperate? Is that why I do it? We're going to answer those questions and much more in today's video. Let's cue up the music and I'll tell you more. Here we go. And this is why I do this, why I'm out here, why I keep that hammer down. Flying by these road signs, with home on my mind, with these wheels turning round for my family and for my kids. For this life I want. All right, folks, I'm back. Before we go any further, I noticed some of you guys got unsubscribed. YouTube does that periodically for some strange reason. Look down below this video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Wait a few seconds. Click that bell notification. Then it will say all Select that, and for free, you'll receive notifications when my future videos come out. Also, give me a thumbs up. Share this video on your social media platforms. Speaking of social media platforms, my Instagram, my Facebook, and even my email are in the description below as well. Feel free to contact me on those platforms and join me there. Sometimes we put content there that does not make it to the YouTube videos, and we want you to be a part of that. Also, folks, you guys know that I love it at Dark Transit. If you'd like to know more about working at Dark Transit, contact the recruiter. I've got her information down in the description below. Tell her you've been watching Trucker Todd. Give her my driver number of 58180. That, along with sharing this video, really helps me out if she's not there. Leave her a voicemail. She'll call you back just as soon as she can. But make sure she has that driver number of 58180. Um, and that way, if you have some issues or concerns, they'll share more information with me and I'm able to help you more, as well as helping me, as I mentioned prior. Also, folks, if you happen to be with another recruiter, tell them you've been watching Trucker Todd. Most of them know me, know who I am. But if they don't, make sure you have that driver number of 58180. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get into why we make the videos the way we do. All right, so 
at the start of the video, there's usually a one to three minute introduction. Why? Well, for starters, that's the hook. And TV shows do the same thing. Think of your favorite TV show. Oftentimes there'll be a clip at the start of the show. It'll say previously on NCIS or whatever show you're watching. Um, they do that for a couple of reasons. In case you missed the previous episode, um, they can kind of update you what's been going on. It's also a time feeler, a time filler. They actually get, don't have to give you as much actual product and content if they burn two or three minutes at the start of the video. In my case, the reason there's an intro at the start of the video is I need to tell you what it's about. Now, the subject line does that, but the subject line is designed to get you interested in the video to begin with, along with the thumbnail picture. Uh, YouTube has algorithms that affect how my videos are shown in the uh, suggestions and uh, so they actually check your your click-through rate which is how many people click on my videos once they see the thumbnail and so um, I think a lot of guys are around six percent my last few videos have been around 18 percent and uh, there's a reason why I say a lot of YouTubers are going to copy me when they hear some of my reasoning behind. I'm adding, on average, about three subscribers a day, sometimes four subscribers a day, which is a lot uh, when you think of the size of this channel, as small as it still is. That means this video will take us over a thousand subscribers, and I want to thank you guys for that. Then we have the intro. Why do I have an intro? Why is it 30 seconds long when a lot of them are a lot shorter? Honestly, I wish there was a, a good reason for it. The main reason is that the hook part of the song, the chorus of the song, this is why I do this, is 30 seconds long. So for the full impact of the song, I had to make the intro 30 seconds long. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I've changed phones three or four times since then, done upgrades, and uh, the quality of the intro video is not what I'd like it to be, so I'm going to start working on changing the intro pretty soon, but we'll probably still keep the same music, and so that's why the intro is 30 seconds long, and that's also why... You know, why is it three or four minutes into a video before I get to the meat and potatoes? Well, that's why. We've got to do the intro. We've got to do uh, the monologue at the beginning. Then, the part that a lot of guys don't understand. Why do I go through the spiel about make sure you're liking and subscribing? Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you share on your social media platforms contacting the recruiter. Why do I do that? Well, for one thing, people remember about 23% of what they hear. And so it needs to be repetitive so that people remember it. And uh, when you're doing these videos, you'd be surprised. Guys that have been watching me for months will still ask, how do I find you on Facebook? How do I find you on Instagram? you have your recruiter's number? Instead of going in the description and reading and finding it, they will uh, ask me and I have to answer it again. So that's why that's there. Now, there are some things in the description I don't mention. And one guy was upset the other day. He said, are you desperate? Is that why you keep saying your driver number over and over? No, it's not. That's not it at all. I help guys each and every day that I never received a referral bonus from. Now, would I like to get it on every single person? Absolutely. But I still continue to help guys that I've never received a penny from. Now, speaking of that, and I've never mentioned this before, in that description there's also um, my PayPal information there. It is possible to send me money, and if I was desperate, I would mention that in every video. But it's there, I figure if you're reading through the, contrib or through the description and you want to contribute, that's great. I'd appreciate it. Um, where's that money going to go if you do contribute? 
Well, as I've told you guys, I don't make anything out of YouTube directly as of yet. The only money I do make is if you come to Dart as a referral, and I don't really reap the full benefits of that unless you stay here uh, for several months. So it behooves me, it's in my best interest if you come to Dart and you like it here and you're successful here. That's why I mentor guys and help guys out as much as I do. So that uh, PayPal, if I was desperate for money, that's what I would be pushing in every, in every video. But I had never even mentioned it before. And it's not a big deal. I do this, and some of you that's dealt with me know, because I enjoy helping people. And it's honestly a lot of fun. I've met a lot of great people. I've made a lot of nice friends. And that's the main reason why I do this. Now, we get into the content. And uh, i got to tell you, that's the toughest part of the videos. Coming up with a catchy title. Coming up with a catchy thumbnail and then having a subject three times a week or two times a week is the toughest part. I've asked uh, for suggestions. Sometimes I get them. Sometimes I get a question from one of you guys that I can make a video out of. But I've said before to those of you that's talked to me on the phone, think of your very favorite subject. And for mine, it's actually not trucking. But uh, think of your very favorite subject. Now imagine talking about it 300 times for 10 to 15 minutes a time. And you will see real quick it's difficult to do. But I try and, and make videos that are informative and that help you guys out. And hopefully you get a chuckle here and there too. Now, um, why do the videos need to be 10 to 15 minutes long? Well, first of all, some of them aren't. I'm not going to ramble just to ramble. And uh, if I can't give you uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes of valuable information, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I had a video this week that was like six minutes long. But for the algorithms with, uh, with uh, YouTube, they like you to have 10 to 15 minute videos. That's what uh, most people are interested in. Now, things I've noticed about... 25% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed to me. So that's one reason we push subscriptions so much. It does raise me in those algorithms. It does uh, help in the search results where more people see my videos. So three-fourths of you aren't even subscribed. And I would love to have that around 50% where half of you were subscribed. Actually, I'd love 100%, but that's not realistic. Of that, most of you watch about 60% of my videos. So a lot of times, the way the arc of the video goes, it starts off with the introduction, it builds to where we totally cover the subject, and then we come to a conclusion. Well, if you're leaving at the arch, you're missing a whole lot of the, probably the best part of the video, the most information. And so I would encourage you guys that are leaving after halfway through the video stay in there there's a lot of great content that you might be missing and uh, why do I like comments good bad or indifferent well because that also helps the algorithms now as you guys know my grandkids watch these videos they think it's cool that their grandpa's on TV so I ask that even if we disagree let's keep it respectful Let's try to keep the language to a minimum, as if your grandkids were watching these videos and reading the comments. But it's okay to disagree. You guys might change my mind on something. But let's not name call. Let's not threaten each other. Let's try to have a good, healthy, respectful debate, which is something uh, that nobody wants to do anymore. Everybody wants to silence the other side. I'm great with opposing opinions, opinions, and uh, I by no means know it all. I can uh, I can learn something from you guys just as easy as you can learn something from me. So, <clears throat> the thing I want to stress before I wrap this up, I hope I've kind of gave you some insight into why I do the things I do. Let's talk about the camera angles for a minute. Why do I use a single camera camera angle, and why am I usually sitting? In the driver's seat of my truck well I'm sitting in the driver's seat 
and I'm facing the camera so you can see I'm not driving while I make a video. And that's real important to me. I know there's YouTubers that drive while they're making videos. I don't feel like that's safe and Dart is a real safety focused company and I don't think that they would appreciate me shooting videos while I'm driving. They've never said nothing to me about it, but I just, um, I want it to be clear that I'm not driving when I shoot these videos. Why don't I use multi-camera angles? Why don't I do a higher production video? Well, this is going to sound really bad when I answer this question. If the video is too polished and it's too uh, perfect, let's say, people start thinking that the company's behind it or, you know, something like that. And Dart doesn't tell me what to say. They don't sponsor or promote my videos in any way. Honestly, I kind of wish they would. I wish they would uh, advertise and try to uh, promote my videos, but they don't. They don't pay me anything for doing these videos. And that gives me a lot of freedom. If there's something negative, I can tell you about it. If there's something positive, I can tell you about it. But the main reason I filmed the videos with one camera, and uh, I remember my brother, he was the most recent to bring it up about, man, you ought to switch between three camera angles like a newscaster, because you're basically like a newscaster. But I told him, I said, you know, when I started doing this, and basically I did it because I was working at a super crappy company at the time, and I wanted other cut drivers to know that it was a super crappy company, so they wouldn't go through the same hell I was going through. And uh, I don't want to shine a light on a cockroach, so I'm not going to say the name of the company. You guys probably know who it is. They're in Muskogee, Oklahoma. But uh, I was putting out videos in the beginning. Well, originally it was for when I sold cars, and those were terrible videos. But I started doing decent videos when I worked at that company in Muskogee, Oklahoma. And it was a terrible experience. I wanted drivers to know so they didn't make the same mistake I did. It kind of evolved into the trucker Todd thing. And uh, when I was watching other YouTubers to see how they do it, and I mean the successful ones, and I got to know some of them, uh, they were shooting videos like this where they were just sitting here talking to the camera. And I decided why reinvent the wheel? Why uh, do something totally different if what they're doing is working? Now, I've made some tweaks here and there and some changes there, here and there. And there's going to be more come as the channel grows, as, uh, as I get monetized on YouTube, um, as, as people send money into PayPal, you're going to see better camera equipment. You're going to see a tripod where I can film more outdoor stuff. At some point, you might even see a drone. Uh, you might see advanced editing software where there's graphics on the screen and stuff like that. But right now, as I said, I'm pretty much doing this out of the goodness of my heart and uh, to help guys out and getting some referrals here and there. But until it's uh, more financially sensible to do it, it doesn't make sense to invest a lot of money in camera and editing equipment. So I hope I've answered some of your questions and shed some light on why I do the videos the way I do. If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments below or shoot me an email. And uh, who knows, Monday I may do a part two video and answer your question. Or we may move on to something else. We'll see what happens. But anyway, you guys have a great weekend. This video went a little longer than I expected. And it's occurring a little later. I like to put my videos out about 9 o'clock in the morning Central Time. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.